Hey, this is Leon. That's right, Leon, for some of your favorite movies. And I'm at brunch in the basement with uh, Therese and Siobhan. <laughs> Stay here with me. Stay here with me. Stay here with me. Still in the basement, no longer alone. With my homegirl Therese on the microphone. Music politics are just chatting it up. Brunch in the basement, see, that's what's up. You never know who might run through Legendary artists or someone brand new You miss a lot when you miss one day At least that's what I heard somebody say But it doesn't really matter what whoever says It's always a good show With Javon and Therese Yeah Brunch in the basement With Javon and Therese Yeah yeah. Come on, everybody's today. a friend in my head. I already know everybody. Whatever you know, it's going to be good. One day I'll tell you about me and Shaka Khan, but you know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, but she doesn't know anything about it. But anyway. <laughs> no, she doesn't. She just she wasn't even there actually. But anyway. Oh. the time so and we thank you for that thank you yes, thank well thank you this part that little piece i'm just gonna keep and play it all the time for myself <laughs> but no i'm just teasing <laughs> everybody how you doing sorry for the late start um as you can see i got a couple of bells and whistles and things going on and um you know just want to make sure that you get the best experience i could give you um and yeah right now what i'm gonna do is get my microphone situation situated how you doing pops and um I am going to, I think what I'm going to do is I will add Facebook now. Yeah, they cut us off. They cut us off. That's what they do, right? And, um, yeah, so sorry that it's been, I guess, a couple of days or whatever since the last time, um, not days, but, yeah, it's been about a week since the last time uh, we've been on the show. And um, I missed you all. I really did. I, I missed everybody. Every single last person that ever watched this show while we were going, I missed you. I really did. And I just had to say that. So in the meanwhile, until, um, oh, so you can call if you want to join the conversation. If you want to say, hey, what's up or whatever, just hit me up. The number to call is or well, the number to dial is 347-996-5394. That's 347-996-5394. Hit me up. Hit me up. Hit me up.
Shake your 
You're listening to WJBR Internet Radio in the basement with Javon and Therese. Our special guest tonight, ah, none other than the legendary author, actor extraordinaire, screenwriter, playwright, advocate for all things that are right in my mind. I'm just saying, I agree with him. I've never disagreed with him. I love him so much. I really do. I really do. You ever see people on TV or in the movies and wish they were your friend in real life? That's this guy. I love this beat right here, man. I'm just going to keep this going. What's up with that? You want to call in? And say hello to our special guest tonight, Mr. Stanley Bennett Clay, three-time NAACP award-winning, legendary Stanley Bennett Clay. The number to call in is 347-996-5394. That's 347-996-5394. Yeah. 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 
Tell me what you wanna do. Don't do nothing stupid. What is happening in front of you? All it is is love from the boot. Let's go. I'm gonna DJ play this week on just like no one's watching. Hey, Mr. DJ, get the track and won't you turn it up? I'm a dance all night and I don't care who's up the watching. I'm just screaming at fire and I'm gonna show you how to burn it up. Ain't no sitting down, you gotta keep it up. I know you must got the whole room jumping on. Instant motion from the second to drop. You got a half finger bringing the beat, it's so hot, hot. So tell me what you wanna do. Don't do nothing stupid. What is happening in front of you? All it is is love from the book. I'm gonna DJ play this week on just like no one's watching. Hey, Mr. DJ, take the track and won't you turn it up? I'm gonna dance all night and I don't care who's up there watching. I'm just screaming at fire and I'm gonna show you how to burn it up. I'm gonna DJ play this week on just like no one's watching. Hey, Mr. DJ, take the track and won't you turn it up? I'm gonna dance all night and I don't care who's up there watching. I'm just screaming at fire and I'm gonna show you how to burn it up. Now this your jam, now do your dance. This that jam, now do your dance. This that jam, now do your dance. This that jam, now do your dance. Make it work, make it work, make it work. Make it work, make it work, make it work. Make it work, make it work, make it work. Make it work, make it work, make it work. Tonight we gon' come all together. Let me see your hands up high. Wanna come with me and take a ride? This is how I do it. Ah, oh, we feeling good. Ah, oh, we in this place. Ah, oh, now bring that beat back, Mr. DJ. I'm gonna DJ play this beat on just like no one's watching. Hey, Mr. DJ, take the track and won't you turn it up? I'm a dance all night and I don't care who's up the watching. Let's just give me that fire and I'm gonna show you how to burn it up. Yes, you're listening to WJBR Internet Radio in the basement with Javon and Therese. And as I mentioned, we have a very, very special guest tonight. Um, I'm always excited to speak with him. Love him to pieces. Um, he's an author, playwright, a filmmaker, director, three-time NAACP award winner. He's uh, an advocate, uh, an advocate. I don't even, I'm making up words. He's an advocate, advocate for social justice. That's all justice, you know? And um, a good guy, you know, not a hard yes. This this man, if you're, if you're doing something positive, I believe that this is the guy you want on your team. Um, it's just amazing to have yet another opportunity to say hello and to speak to and get into the mind a little bit of Mr. Stanley Bennett Clay. And I'm going to show off a little, a couple of bells and whistles today. So anyway, yeah, because Stanley just um, inspires me. So with that, everybody, Mr. Stanley Bennett Clay. Hey, Stan. How you doing? You can't hear? Do you have headphones? (laughs) 
Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I am so sorry. I am so no. stupid. No, you're not. You're so smart. You're so oh, smart. Please, that's not. Sitting here with, the, with the, the, the headphones in front of me and just like, you know, duh. That's okay. How, you know how what? are you, my dear? I'm good. We I'm both good. are learning this stuff together. Let me uh -huh. tell you. Oh, it, it was only last week that I figured out how to, you see on the screen where you can see Ulysses, you yeah, know, right. Paul and, right? Uh -huh. you, the message on the screen. Last week, I wouldn't have been able to do that. So, oh, okay, I don't even know, know what that is. <laughs> that's you know, the listeners, um, and the people who watch on YouTube and uh -huh. Facebook, they're able to comment as we go along. Oh, okay, okay, so that's Ulysses Carter, our producer. I put my glasses on, <laughs> yeah, and he's um commenting, people comment, and now I'm able to share their comments. I wasn't oh, able cool. to do that last week, you know, so we, wow. we we're all learn it. What else we going to do? Well, yeah, I mean, but you know what? That's a great thing to learn. To learn, Absolutely. you know, it, uh, it, a certain amount of ignorance is really wonderful because what, that ignorance is, is is like a an empty vessel waiting to be filled. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know? And if if you already know everything, then what you doing here? It, 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 okay. Tell cool. me. Now, and, I was, and I'm an old old dude and I still don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. That's good. That means you got a lot of time more to learn a lot more stuff. You know? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And that's what's up. You know, that's also being very humble because you actually know a lot of stuff. Well, I mean, I know I know a lot of stuff because, you know, when you get a certain age, you can't help but know a lot of stuff. This you know, it, it, it comes with age and everything. But then what you learn is that um, in spite of everything that you know, that there's so much more that you don't know. So it's a constant learning situation you're 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 a constant student exactly. you have to be exactly exactly yeah. so for those who are listening watching or whatever who don't know who stanley bennett clay is um please let let the people know a little bit about um who you are and and before you do mm -hmm. um let me just say that um, Debbie Turner, one of the listeners, says that she misses Therese. I miss her, too. Hopefully she'll be back on with us on Saturday or or at the latest. Um, she may even pop on today, tonight. Who knows? But um, she's got some personal biz she got to take care of, you know. Um, so we all we all got stuff, you know, to do, you know. So um, she but she did send her apologies and Stan, she's trying her bestest oh, to, cool. to get on tonight. Um, okay. You know that, but you know sometimes things come up. Yeah. I figured somebody was gonna say they missed Therese, so so <laughs> here's, here's one of the bells. Oh, I can't even do it. I didn't do it right. My bad. Okay. <laughs> See, I'm still figuring it out, Stan. Okay. I, I was getting ready to um, post a picture. Of you, me, and Therese from the day ah. at, at Billy's Black, but oh I, yeah, right. Oh my God, I, I messed I mean, up. I, I messed up. I, you oh, know, oh, you that's and I okay. Have that as a memory, you know. Yeah, absolutely. You oh know? wow. We'll leave that's it at great. that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but cool. But you know, we got each other right now. Th that's what's up. So yeah, what? Please tell people. Um, I don't I don't want because sometimes when people give their resume, you know, mm -hmm. um, people tend to be a little shy about all of the wonderful things that they've done. So let me ask you about some things. And OK, well, well, well you know, I don't I don't know if it's so much about all the wonderful things that I've done as it is that the wonderful experiences that I've had. Oh, how about Be that? Because I mean, that's what it's all about. You know, it's it's, it's like life. Life is like a, a this great big amusement park, and you're just a, a little kid with some with some 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 popcorn and going from ride to ride and exhibit to exhibit and seeing all these wonderful things. And it it reminds you how really wonderful life is. To just you know, the, the, the life is just this big, wonderful playground. Sure, you know, you talk, every once in a while you fall and you 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 scuff your knee, but that's okay, you that's know, it'll heal and everything. But 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 I mean, 
I've been around for for a while, you know, and and just as just as a person, you know, just just as a human being, and I am still amazed at life and and the, the lusciousness of, of 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 the outdoors and the intimacy of the indoors and the wonderful things of, of, of you know that we go through that sometimes are are disappointing, but also sometimes extremely exhilarating, which means that you have those those hills and those mountains and those highs and those lows. And that's the thing that makes life wonderful. Because if, if, if everything was was the expectation of something great or the expectation of something terrible, well, then there are no surprises. Mm. You know, the, the, the life is all about the surprises of living, you know, just, just enjoying these things and not always knowing what's around the corner. So you just have to kind of like strap yourself in the, in the, in the, the, the seat and just, you know, in that roller coaster ride, just take that great big first hump and all the other ones that follow and just enjoy it and then be ready to get back on it. Wow. Yeah. That, so that's, that, that's a beautiful way to look at it. You know what I mean? Um, life is full of experiences. That's true. Yeah, that's, absolutely. absolutely. And, 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 you know, and I'm, I mean, I'll tell you, you know, since I was a little kid, I've always explored life that way. It was, it's just, I, I couldn't wait for the next thing to surprise me or to scare me or wow. to, to just to alter what I may have thought was supposed to be the thing coming up. And it's always another surprise. It's, it's, it's like going to a birthday party and, and everything. And, and suddenly you know, there, there, there are candles lit and there are firecrackers going on and somebody's singing happy birthday and, and just all these wonderful, fabulous things that make up life. You know, I mean, isn't that why we wake up every morning? This is true. This is yeah. true. This is no. true. So, so then, okay. So clearly, you have a very expressive, creative way of articulating yourself. You are <laughs> an amazing storyteller. I'm just oh, going. Oh wow! I'm just going to put that out there. Thank I love you. listening to you. Um, words, mm -hmm. man. Words are amazing. The older I get, the more I appreciate. Oh our yeah. Language. You know, yeah, and you so, know the, 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 the older we get, the less we realize we know. Mm, you know how about and, that? And, and, and it just it, it just you know it gives us a greater thirst. Yeah, you know, it, you know every day brings on something new and different, and you say, God, I want to taste that too. You know, I just yeah. want to have a bite of it. I, you know, I want to lick it. I want to touch it. I want to feel it. I just want to go with it. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. You life know, is life is wonderful, but I have to say, you just reminded me somehow of Shaka Khan. But I'm gonna leave. <laughs> oh I, man, I, I know, I know. I, I but, now you, 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 are way too young to remember. It, but, but, I'm, but I'm gonna tell you <laughs> something. You, no, you, no, 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 really. In the, in, in, back, back, back in the day, I was, a, I was an absolute sissy fool at a, at, at, a, at a Shaka Khan concert. Well, you I, know what. Stan, thank you very much, but I'm not as young as you think I am. I've been a Shaka Khan, a Shaka Khan <laughs> since 1974. Oh, okay. Well, boy, I, boy, I got you beat on that because I, I remember when they were just introducing a, 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 this this phenomenal act called, you know, Shaka Khan. Uh, what was Rufus. 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 Shaka Khan. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I remember, and, and I was a, I was the editor in chief of uh, Soul Team Magazine at the time. Now, how did you how did you land that? So um, it was it was really funny. Um, I don't know if you remember the actor Raymond Saint Jacques. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Raymond and and I were really good friends, and um, I was writing publicity stuff for him and everything. And uh, then he had a publisher friend who owned uh, Black Beat Magazine and everything. And he introduced me to him because the guy was really disappointed in the way the magazine was running. And so he asked for my opinion. So what I did was, you know, I'd say, I have nothing to do. I'd say, well, you know, first of all, your magazine is a piece of shit. Wow. Uh, you know, and uh, the thing is that I don't know, how do you let these writers get away with the stuff that they, that they put in your publication? It's it, like it takes away from the dignity of it and everything. And you just, you're just publishing crap and you shouldn't be doing that. And so he says, he came to me and he says, well, you know, can I hire you to be the editor in chief? And I said, uh, yeah, but you got to stay out of my way, you know. And he said, okay, yeah, you, you got it. So, um, you know, so so I started editing. Um, it was called Soul Teen at the time. I, I started editing Soul Teen magazine, and then I was bringing in a, a lot of outrageous stuff. I put in a, a male centerfold. 
because I said, well, you know, who reads who reads teenage magazines? Little yeah. girls. Well, what do little girls want to see? Little boys. Yeah. So why why not have these little cutie pies in the city pole and everything, yeah. which tripled our public our our circulation, and then I I was able to get uh, the very intellectual writers um, to sort of entertain the mature side of these these young people because you know everyone was treating children like children and yeah. there were other things that there were that, you know all the politics that were going on at the time the, the the social upheavals and things i said these young people are smart enough to be able to understand this and and to actually you know um, um absorb it and take it in and what happened was that uh, because of that uh, our, our circulation just skyrocketed because of everybody was reading the magazine because we had so much um provocative material in the magazine uh, and, and political stuff, you know, and everything. So, so it was, it was, um, it was, it was a, a, a great experience. But, but I said all that to go back to the fact that, I mean, I, I love the fact of being able to go to all these concerts because, you know, when you're the editor of a, of a, of a fan magazine, you know, you're going to three, four concerts a week. Wow. So it's, it's you know, it's, it's like you know, putting a sugar holic in a candy factory. Absolutely. And, I mean, it, it was it was it was such a joy and such a thrill, and 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 actually to be able to share your experiences of of these wonderful artists uh, that came. I, I remember when Prince, uh, nobody knew who Prince was, and we did this major story on him. And I remember the interview that that I, that I had with him, and you know, it was in some little dark closet or something in in, in, the, in the top of the restaurant in Westwood, and he was so. He was so open, as opposed to the quiet person that, 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 that people thought he was. He, he was. he was just very real, mm. and and I, and I think what it was that that um, that that most people were afraid to quote the provocative opinions that he had about things, which so you know they just sort of muted him, and um, and you know in, in our publication you know we we didn't believe in mutes. You know, which is the reason why I probably got fired like four years later, because you know, oh, okay. in, in, in spite of the fact that I had tripled the, the circulation of the magazine, the owner, which was this white guy, and everything, and he, he says it's just too too provocative and everything, and he he was willing to actually um, cut off profits to to stop the um, the proliferation of of, of of young black thoughts mm. that uh, were not in line and were not just simply Negro thoughts, but black thoughts. And so, um, but, but that happens. That happens. You know what that reminds me of? Mm -hmm. That reminds me of your character in Minstrel Man. Ah. <laughs> hmm. Where that young man was ready to move. Like he needed to stop this whole menstrual thing and and move on he he was ready he didn't want a coon yeah yeah and yeah. that was all there really was and it was dangerous it was that movie actually can i can i just tell you i sat up and watched it last night oh wow <laughs> i watched it last night and i was like it's so amazing and and i know i'm really doing a big segue here because mm -hmm. Um, where we as a people were, yeah, that and it was depicted in that movie. And for those of you listening, if you haven't seen it, you can actually see the whole the whole entire movie is on YouTube for free, mm -hmm. called yeah. Minstrel Man. Yeah. So check it out. Well, and, I, well, I tell you, you know, the 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 personal experience that I had for that was that um. um it was an audition, you know, my agent said, okay, but there's this role, you know, in, in this thing called Minstrel Man and everything. And so um, I went to the, the, the studio to, uh, to, for the audition. And um, I remember that I was early, so I read the script. I sat in my car and read the script. And at the end of the, the when I finished it, I was in uncontrollable tears. Mm. And I, I couldn't even pull myself together to get to, to be right at the audition. So, but I got to the audition. And what happened was that when I was in there with the producer and the director and the, and the, the, the other people that, that were there, that I had gotten so emotionally caught up that I just broke down in tears 
and still kept doing the role and everything. And and, and I lost myself in, in it. And next thing I know, they're yelling and they're screaming and they're applauding and they're, they're screaming. They say, "You're the guy. You're the guy." And, and 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 it was it was it was it was just such an emotional moment because I felt that I felt the anger and the anguish of that character so much. I had never been so affected by a role as I was by that by that role, and and by virtue of the fact that um, um, my co-star in that was was Glenn Turman. Yes. And and Glenn Turman was one of those actors that I looked at. He, he wasn't that much older than me, but he was a he was a star. Yeah. And he was so dignified and so comforting, and it was, almost after every scene that we played, as because we were brothers, almost every scene that we played. He would always come over to me and he would just give me a big hug and just hold me. Mm. And just hold me. It, it was, it was, the, the, I'll, I'll never forget that, that sort of big brotherhood thing that, that was there. And, it, it, but that's the kind of person he is. Mm. He's, he's, he's more than, than an artist. He's a person. He's a person. And he understood what I was going through and just trying to do that role. And he got it. Yeah. He got it. You know, so, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of that film. Yeah, um, as, as you should be. Do yeah. you mind if we play a little clip of it? No, no, please. You see, we got bells and whistles now. Wow, right? I love it. <laughs> this, this is why I had to have you show up, Stan. Oh, wow. I've been, I've been preparing just for you. Oh, wow. Thanks. Now if I can get it. Let's, let's okay. <laughs> check this out. <laughs> Run the tape, please. You better give them what they want before they pull this whole place down. Harry, you promised. Get the chairs on stage. Everybody in the makeup. Ready? Start them on Camp Town races. Alvin, get the band on Camp Town races. Right. <laughs> Gentlemen, is that not touching devotion? Mr. Bones here attending his sick horse so faithfully that his own health broke down. Afternoon, neighbor! <laughs> Afternoon to you! Howdy, friend! Well, you boys gonna just stand there gawking? And you'll move aside for a white man! Now, Mr. Interlocker, I can't be sure. You know, most all white people's looks alike to me. Even your wife, Mr. Bones. Uh, 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 perhaps uh, uh, it's time for a song. Uh, um, uh, I wonder would you favor us, Mr. Bones? I'll be honest. I have a riddle for you, Mr. Interlocker. Uh, uh, what is your riddle, Mr. Bill? Do you know why there are no white folks in the audience? Well, no, I, uh... Because they all have red necks! <laughs> Hell, you trying to give no kill! How long are you gonna take it, Harry? How long are you gonna go through this humiliation and abuse? When are you gonna stop fighting back? Not when there's more than 200 drunken yahoos out there just waiting to shoot my black butt off! That was, wow, hmm. wow, yeah. wow. Yeah, en enjoyed it. I, I I enjoyed. It was it was rough, but a good rough. You know, it 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 it, it woke me up. It woke me up because I, I remember that there was a scene that we did in in that. Um, it, it, well, I'm not giving anything really away, but there's a there's a lynching. At the end of the, yeah. at the, at the uh, near the end of the film, and I remember that there were some white people that, that, that were standing around watching us shoot the film. And you know, you know, film is very, it, it takes a lot of time, so it took a lot of time to get that together. And some white guy in the audience, some white guy standing there said, "Hmm, the time that it took them to hang that nigga, we could have hung ten. <gasps> oh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is 1977, and we were shooting, you know, down in in, in uh, Alabama, I think, somewhere in Alabama. So, uh, you know, and that that and it was such a casual comment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so, so it was, uh, yeah. It, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. But that, it, you, and and that, but you know, and when you think that you know that that for someone to be able to casually say that. Um, Back then, and that was 1976, 1976. But then again, you still have people like that saying things like that today. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, they have recently found some young men hung. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lynched. Lynched. This mm -hmm. is not all of a sudden now black men feel like hanging themselves from trees. Right. No, we know better than that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's um, uh, yeah. it's twenty twenty, and, and still, and still, in twenty twenty. Yeah, that's the thing that hit hard when I watched the film. Um, this this film, it's like after the Civil War, mm -hmm. the Emancipation Proclamation, right. you know, and. You know, black folk just trying to survive and get their own rhythm. And the only way that in entertainment had to be to blacken your face, yeah. even on top of your black face, couldn't just, you know, it's just all of that, which really, you know, I think that our young people need to see that and understand that what that was and what it yeah. took even to get to where we are today. Exactly. I mean, you know, if we, we have to constantly revisit our history. Absolutely. Uh, because I know a lot of the young people that, that are out there today, and then even though, you know, we, this is probably one of the smartest generations ever. You know, mm -hmm. uh, they, they, they have so much intellectual uh, 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 props to afford them an uh, a, 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 an easy education in life, that and I'm so I'm so grateful for that, and I'm so grateful for the fact that they take they take so much advantage of it as well, and and I do think that that our young people do look at our history and and do study our history, and I think that there is a sense of 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 um, a new pride, um, and a new understanding of of our standing as a people. In this world, and and I think that a great deal of that comes from the um, uh, our young people who are actually promoting yes. who we are as Black people. You know, because they, remember we went through a generation of, of, of uh, well, why do I have to be Black? I'm just a person. Duh. Yes, 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 Duh. definitely. Yeah. And that was very recent, and that was very it was, hard. That was, that, it, it was very hard. Yeah, that was very yeah. hard. Um, yeah, you know, um, but I, I, I agree with you in reference to this current generation. I, I yeah. love these young folk. They are I smart. Do. They are. They, they are. are creative. Mm -hmm. And they and and I and I love the the, the fact that they, that they have united behind Black Lives Matter. Absolutely. I mean, they, they, this is the first generation to say it so. And I'm, and you know, and it's a shame that I have to call it brazen. It's yeah. not brazen, right? It's it, you know, yeah. So, 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 white people are upset with it. Fuck them. Yeah. You know, the, yeah. The point is that, that that it is what it is. That these young black people are saying, "Damn it, Black Lives Matter," and you will understand that. Right. You may you, you may not always go along with it, but you will be forced to understand it one way or another. Right. You know, right. So, so I, I I love I love this young generation. This younger generation. Yeah, which leads to um, the little project that we did a couple of years ago, right? Yeah, yeah. We um, got together to um, do little vignettes about the importance of voting. I feel like we need to yes. carry oh, my on God. That it again. Oh, right? yes, yes, we do. Whatever we can do. I, I, I mean... I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of people putting out videos and putting out things, but we have to do every little thing we can. We really do. 
we we really do. The, the, the thing is that we we have seen what what has happened to the world and this country with the current resident uh, resident in the White House right now, and we allow that to happen. Yeah, you know, we have no one to blame but ourselves. Absolutely, you know, because because the thing is that that so many of us did not come out and vote and look what it resulted in. Yeah, yeah. We, we can't have that happen again. You know, if, if, if you are not registered and if you're not, if you're not ready to go out there and vote, then shame on you, shame Absolutely. on you. Absolutely. If you were showing complete dis disrespect and disregard to your ancestors, to everything that they went through, the, the pain, the agony, the torture, that they had to endure so that you can have a say in what happens to this country and what happens to this world and you turn your back on that or you flip it off. I just can't even understand how could you possibly not vote? How could you possibly not have your voice heard when your ancestors hung on ropes, were hung on ropes for that very purpose? so that you can today be able to have some say in what happens in this world. Yeah. So as you know, that, and, and, and you know, even, even as I say that, you know, I still have so much faith in this younger generation, but you know, it's, it's like your children, no matter how brilliant your children are, no matter how fabulous they may be, every once in a while they need a little bit of that switch. Yeah, that's true. You, you know, and that's and that's okay. You know, the, the, yeah. the, the, those are love taps. That's you know, true. You know, and then we just have to be mindful that you know because the thing is that that the children are not born mature. They're children, so some some sometimes we have to you know pull out, pull out that little you know, the little the whipping thing, and yeah. sometimes it's, it, it just may be a shake of the finger, and right. sometimes it may just be a hug and and a sit down talk and everything. And I mean, there are so many ways that we can show our children how much we respect them and we love them and we, we understand what they're doing. But as anybody, when, when I was a kid, I was all over the place, you know, and I'm sure you were too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. We, we, we were, and, and thank God we had parents that, that kind of like you know, uh, hone us in so that, that we can see forward you know, with a with a with a with a straight view and and, and everything, and um, and eventually do the right thing because you're not born doing the right thing. Right. You know, you learn that. You you, you learn what the right things are. Your, your parents teach you. You know, what's right and what's wrong, and then you begin to understand. You say, Oh, wow, that's why that's good, and that's why that's not so good. Right. You know, and and you know, not, because I'm gonna tell you, you know, and my mother is, you know, my, 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 well, my father. It's, it's funny, my my father. He really, he really just, he couldn't bear to spank anybody. <laughs> he was, just, he, he was just a softy. So we, you know, we, you know, if 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 things, if we did something wrong, we'd always run to him to, and get his punishment. Yeah, you whatever know? that was. Something <laughs> yeah, he would say, "Well, you kids, you should know better." Yeah, that was his way. But my yeah. mother was just, she'd have her little belt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Put it to you, huh? <laughs> I put it to you. Yeah, yeah, you know and everything. But 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 you know what? Um, I learned from that. Yeah. I learned from that because there was a, a, I, I never received a single uh, licking that was filled with anger. Mm. It was if it was filled with this is just a re I want you to feel this so that the next time that you do something like that that is not correct that you understand what the what the consequences will be. Because my mother was very um, uh, she, was, I mean, she, she was an intellectual. In fact, she, she was a little country girl from from Sunflower, um, Mississippi. They moved okay. up to up to, up to Chicago, and uh, and she, she she would tell us the stories about how every, all the other girls in school would, would laugh at her because she had this this little Southern accent. So she just started reading books, just studying and doing, other, and she became this like super little intellectual, <laughs> only because she was she she had a hunger for, for all this knowledge and everything, and and to this day, and she and she's one of the most modest people that, that I've ever known in my life, and and even to this day, she can give you a look with a smile. Oh, that, 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 that will make you, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you. yeah, yeah. You know that kind of thing. And my father, he said, well, "You kids, you, you kids, you shouldn't be acting like this." And he would just wear himself out. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, so we would always wait to get his spankings. 
because he hated the spank and and he just he, you know and he would just he would yell and scream and all that kind of stuff to wear himself out but that the, the, the mom man you know that you know that that strong black woman thing i'm gonna tell you yeah how about that how about mm -hmm. that so yeah. let me since you said strong black woman let me just ask you your opinion on this um obviously biden is the democratic nominee mm -hmm. and people are more or less pushing for uh, a black female vice president. Does that matter to you? <clears throat> yes. Yes. Um, I, I, I think that sometimes that we we get kind of caught up in the um, in the in, in, in this white approval thing. That we start saying, why does it have to always just be black? Why does it have to be? Why do we have to specifically do that? Because we have to. Because we have to. I'm not apologizing for for, for, for sitting here and saying that we need a, a a a black female woman as vice president. I say that unapologetically, and we should, and that's what we should we need to do. Because the thing is that white people have been demanding their place at the table for forever. And we have to do the same thing. We have to just demand our place at the table. And uh, I, I don't think that I could even go, well, no, I'm not going to say that, that I would, would uh, not support Biden if he didn't choose a black woman because, you know, the, the, the worst thing that could happen is Donald Trump would end the president again. And I, and I just, I, I, I can't live through that again. I can't yeah. live through that again, you know. Yeah, that, 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 that thing. This, this, has, uh, been, this has been the hardest for oh you. Oh, God. Yeah. Lord have mercy. I, you know. And, and, and if it wasn't so tragic, it would be laughable. Yeah. Maybe in another 10 years, we could look back at this and maybe cautiously giggle. But. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But it, 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 it's hard because he has done so much damage. Yeah. He, you know. And and the thing is that, that I, you know, I, I, I do believe that, that Joe Biden is going to win the election. And and I think that that there are so many uh, qualified black women uh, available to be to be vice president. Because the thing is that I, that, that I, you know I, I, Joe Biden might only do one term, and then that would sort of guarantee us having the leadership of a black woman, and that's what we need. Yeah, you know. In, in fact, I mean, I, I tend to believe that in in most situations, uh, women, as a whole, there's a there's a there's a other thing that women have that that is not so much like what men have. You know, men men tend to get caught up in ego. Yeah, and and and, and women tend to get to to be caught up in in nurturing. Right. And um and and, and I I think that we kind of need something like that. A healer. Right now. Yeah, a healer, yeah. a and healer. Somebody that's gonna you know hold you and and, yeah. and say it's gonna be all right, baby. You know, and and, 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 and we have around, so many. Then turn around and, and make you get your own switch. <laughs> oh, so you know about that? Yeah, I, you know, I keep telling you, don't let the don't let the die fool you now. <laughs> Cause see, that was my grandmother's thing. Okay. My grandma said, "No, go out, go out and get a, get get a switch." And it better not be a little. And, and, it, and it better not be a little teeny. You there sure you your go. grandmother's not my grandmother's? Oh, that's all our grandmothers. Okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. So I'm just wow. saying, you know, yeah. you, and maybe and, and you know and maybe, maybe we need a bit of a little Kamala Harris for the switch. Yes, yes. I, yeah. I'm all for Kamala. I I would personally though, I would like to see her as a G, and I you know the uh, yeah yeah. And I Absolutely. would like to see her put some of these men behind bars because <laughs> and we can start with bar and and okay. work our way in a circle cuz they all know, the same yeah because you know what she she was kicking serious butt in California yeah, yeah you know and a lot of people didn't like her because she was upholding the law right she and didn't play she didn't play and didn't care about yeah. who you were and exactly. as you as you can tell, when she's sitting up there in in the Senate, <laughs> and those white men sit there and try to bamboozle and talk uh, in circles, uh -huh, uh -huh. like you didn't answer my question. I'm reclaiming my time. There you go. She, she, Do she, you she, know the answer she, to your own? You know, yeah. like 
Do you, you know what you need? You're in charge of the cookie jar. Mm -hmm. Are you not? So then yeah. what is in the cookie jar? You know, straight yeah. up. And did yeah. you put that in there? You know, like, yeah. uh, well, uh, I don't understand your question. You don't yeah. understand the question and you're in charge uh -huh. of the cookie jar, right? Thank um, you. Thank you. And, you know, and the interesting thing is that, that you know, because now I love I, I love Stacey Abrams. Yes. I, I just wish she had a little more experience. Yes. You know, but 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 I, she gets my heart. Yeah. yeah. She really, really gets my heart. I mean, you know, because, you know, so, so Cam, Cam ain't going to take no shit. No, she's not. Not a drama. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know um, Stacey would Stacy would be more more compassionate. Right. Yeah, you know and everything, but 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 um, but you know she's got time. You know she's got, right, she's got right. time to do it's rice. What about rice? Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, now 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 um, uh, rice is really solid. Yeah. Yeah. There's a steadiness about her that is just like. Yeah. But isn't isn't it amazing that we're our biggest conundrum is trying to figure out which one, which which one that we have we we have this entire group of all these wonderful wonderful uh, 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 black women who are super qualified, absolutely, who absolutely. are super qualified, and and I do think about the fact that um, that Joe Biden will probably only serve one term. Yeah, you know what? I hadn't actually thought about that. Well, I I haven't actually thought past him getting election elected because i just i'm just stuck there right like yeah, yeah i know because the, 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 the fear of trump getting another uh, uh term is scary yeah so I, my my imagination has gone to that dark place of what <laughs> happens if trump gets reelected, and uh -huh. so i quickly run back to i hope joe gets elected and then um, the question as to who his VP would be, it, it in my and and forgive me for being so whoever I am, but I'm like Joe Biden could be caught on camera smoking crack in a hotel with a midget five crackheads <laughs> doing I don't know what jumping jacks, okay, mm -hmm. and he could be slapping. I don't know who he could and I could walk in and he could slap me in my face and I'd still vote for him. Yeah. Because, yeah. You know what? I I wouldn't care. Somebody yeah. somebody said Joe Biden could shoot me on Fifth Avenue and I'd still vote for him. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you because because you know, the, 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 Trump has brought such shame to the presidency of the United States. It's 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 sad. It's, it's you know he, he's in He's more than an embarrassment. He's 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 dangerous. Yeah. He is, you know, we we were known as the greatest country on the planet, and 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 when I say that, I don't mean in might. I mean in humanity, right. and in, in justice, and in you know, and, and ideals. All those one, and, ideals. And ideals. And he he just put cracks in so many of those things. Now we're a strong enough country that we will heal, and we will be fine. But for us to have had to go through those four years of of this 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 embarrassing imbecile yeah you know, calling himself leading the the, the emperor's new clothes uh, yeah. that's that's you know and and the sooner he's gone the better and i don't want him, and, and i want him to, i i don't want him to go to to leave tragically i don't you know i don't want anybody to assassinate him i don't want him to have an accident i just want him to live a long old life so that he can understand the pain that he brought so many people. I want him to be 101 years old and realize that 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 this is what this is this is your history. Yeah. I I I wouldn't mind him living long. That's not my call. I, I don't wish for anyone's death. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I, I would never do that. And I do want him to feel the impact. But I wouldn't waste my wishes on him understanding anything. That man is as fast backwards as, I mean, he he can't, he has no empathy, yeah. no sense of right or wrong or any of that. And so I think the, the only way he will feel impact is for him to be publicly humiliated. Mm -hmm. 
but well, but, yeah. but you know, but but, but that's what I think. That, that, but that, I believe that 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 is exactly what will will happen with him because I, I I think that that he will be on the same track that Richard Nixon ended up on, but until, worse. Yeah, and, and 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 until the day he died. Yeah. Is is that that he lived in a in a, in a uh, you know a cesspool of shame. Yeah. That um. He, and he had to live with that. He was faced with that. And the thing was that it wasn't a handful of people that knew it. It was the the, the, you know, the entire United States understood that, 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 that this is a man that had to actually get up and say, I am not a crook. Right. And that's his legacy. Yeah. That, that's his legacy. To, to this day, when you compare somebody to Nixon or if you mention Nixon, mm -hmm. you're thinking of that crooked politician. That yeah. that He's the symbol of Tricky yeah. Dick. You know, yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. So, yeah, so, and, and, and and I think that that even though uh, as as uh, disconnected as Donald Trump is, and as egotistical as he is, and and and, and self-aggrandized, all, all that stuff, I I think that that there's a bit of humanity in him, as in anyone, as in the, the worst criminal, that that there will be regrets, right. That that if he lives a long life and and, and lived long enough and generations study, the, the his imbecilic, selfish, uh, dictatorship, uh, 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 social dictatorship, you know, um, that even as stupid as he is, he would come to realize that he will, he will go down in history as probably the worst president in the history of the United States. Yeah, and, and he'll have to face that. And a loser, a loser, and a, and a loser, and yeah. that's one of his big things, you know. Oh, oh I, my God. I'm winning. I win. I'm big. I'm this. No, uh, you're you're an idiot, and you're a loser, and you've been exposed. Yeah, and and, and, I, and I believe because I think that he's going to only serve one term. Sorry about that. This the, the, the motorcycle that's outside right. my window. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. Yeah. But 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 I, I I think that you know when when he looks back on on all of this. Um, because you know, there's some humanity in everyone. Yeah. But I, I think that if Hitler lived long enough, that that he would have had certain feelings about, if not regret, the fact that the history has treated him a certain way. History pointed out that he was the devil, and he would have had to go to his grave thinking that. And I think that 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 when Donald Trump realizes that he would go down in history as probably the, 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 the least principled president to serve the United States. Um, that's going to be hard for him to live with. Yeah. Let me ask you this. So mm -hmm. you're you're a New Yorker, right? At this mm -hmm. time? Yeah, at this time, I love it. Yeah. At this time, right? Uh -huh. So Central Park, mm -hmm. Karen, right? But, Karen, the yeah. young lady, the... The man was bird watching in the oh, park. Wait, wait, the the the, the, the white woman that that uh, right. called the police on him. Right, right, yeah, yeah. right. So, yeah. oh, he's hurting me. Oh, he's gonna do this. Oh, he's scared. Yeah, wow. yeah. right. So yeah. now, what's going on is he is refusing because the DA is ready to press charges and take her and, yeah mm -hmm. yeah and and the the gentleman who was called who she called the police on refuses to press charges on, against her so yeah. now a lot of people are are you know grappling with this mm -hmm. um some people are looking at this as you know this is the wrong time to turn the other cheek yeah, um, yeah. I personally feel like, you know, sh this has to go forward. He needs to do this not for himself, but yes. for the record so that and there has to start to be consequences. We, exactly. This is not we cannot turn the other cheek right now legally when it comes to the law. If we we're fighting for justice. And, 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 then and the thing is that we, we get right we, up we, to it, and we yeah. say, eh, "That's okay. I don't want it." Yeah, yeah. And, and then you know, and, and that is that you know, unfortunately, that is a part of 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 our history, 
that 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 we do that you know it's it's like when 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 the when the, when the white woman would slap the, the 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 black maid in the face, and the black maid would grab and say, "Oh, Miss 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 Whitey, it's okay, it's okay," you know. And yeah, that's that's. I mean, whatever. I don't know what his reasons are for that, but uh, that bitch would have been in jail as far as I was concerned. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, no, 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 no mercy, no mercy. Yeah. And only because it has to set a precedence. Yes. Too many, too many times that um, people, white people are calling in, um, police on black men, black women, black people. Mm -hmm. And then the black people go to jail or die. Yeah. Yeah. And for nothing. Yeah. And for nothing. And, um, there needs to be consequences for false reporting, period. Yeah, yeah. And and honestly, you know what? I don't care, white, black, or indifferent. You just don't do that. You know, yeah, like yeah. if it was a black woman, I would say the same thing. Mm -hmm. Hold her ass accountable because, you know, the black man is stereotyped. Everybody, oh, he's so scary. He's yeah. a man. Yeah. You know. Well, you know, but, but that one, the, the woman who, 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 she is rightfully stereotyped too, because she's your typical Miss Anne. Yeah, yeah. You know, and she thinks that she can just get away with this. If that was a white man, you know, she, she would, she probably wouldn't have done, done anything. She would have yeah, yeah, but this, this black man, that's, that's a, you know, the, the, the Miss Anne syndrome. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's just so much going on right now, and I'm just hoping. Um, that as a result of Black Lives Matter, the young people galvanizing and getting together and, um, you know, all of the current focus, you know, we, we move two step, two or three steps every time something like this happens, every mm -hmm. 50 years or so, right? Yeah. Right? But it's, and you know what, and, and, I, and I love, I love what, 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 you know, our young people are doing. It's it's organized. It's dignified. It's 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 so powerful, and it is a movement. It is. It is a movement, you know, and it's and and it's not going anywhere. It's going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. And and by virtue of the fact that they've been able to pull in allies from all walks of life, you know, it's is is incredible. You know, it's, a, it's a, you know I appreciate the white people that join in. But I do know that this is a black, a black thing that is happening. This, this is a black movement, and as was in decades before, young black people have been known to jump out there and and and, and stand in front of the bayonets and defiantly walk against you know the the, the oppressors. So um, um, again, I'm you know I'm I'm old enough to have seen another generation of young black people out there fighting for us exactly you know i i yeah i i think though the fight is ours mm -hmm. um but the change has to be them they they're the ones that have to change they have to change we have to change but they have to change too yeah 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 they 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 have to change and sometimes we have to drag them uh, <laughs> into chains yeah. So to make them change, you know, yeah. they 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 may they may change kicking and screaming, but ultimately yeah. they you know they they will because the thing is that that, that laws will be made that they won't like, right. and everything. Uh, the, the, the thing is that you 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 really, even though it still happens, but you really can't kill a black man for whistling at a white woman. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Even though it still happens. Yeah, you know, but but the thing is that that that, that 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 you kill the black man, you will. There are consequences that you will suffer today, that you may not have suffered forty years ago. Yeah. True. 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 So, so it's, well, it's, I, I had to get your take on all of this, Dan. I've been waiting for <laughs> you. Know. Wow. Well, we always have such a great conversation and uh, everything. Absolutely. So, um, for our next video shoot, which hopefully we can. Mm -hmm. Maybe in September or so, you know, we can. Do, oh, okay. And maybe, maybe even in August, we can do something outdoors. I'll talk to. Um, oh, cool. You know that that would be better, so we can social distance and everything, and we can mm -hmm. maybe get more people involved and 
you know, we'll see. We'll see how, how it goes. Okay. I'll talk to the res about it, Monifa again, and um, you can bring some friends along. And um, we'll talk to Pops, our, our producer, and, and, you know, we'll get some people involved. Great. And okay. um, that's how we'll do that. And maybe this time you can pen something for us to say. Maybe you can. You're the writer. You're the worker. <laughs> Okay, great, great. Leave it up to me because I'll be like, y'all better vote, damn it. <laughs> you know? But sometimes that's a, some, sometimes that's what, what is needed. Yeah. Is, uh, you know, by plain talk. Exactly. You know, you know like I said, it's, it's it's like the um, it's like grandma switch. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. Some, sometimes you know, grandma has to you know, just get that switch out of the tree and just do what she got to do. This is true. Yeah. So, so before we segue, segue. I well, mm -hmm. okay. Before we move on, I gotta move on. I gotta move on. But okay. we know we're gonna put this in our back pocket, and we're gonna come up with something to to motivate people to vote. Yes, we have to. Now, I've been a little slow and lacking because, like I said last night, I watched Minstrel Man. Now, <laughs> I'm. I feel like I saw it years and years and years ago as I was watching it because mm -hmm. I was able to anticipate certain scenes. Mm -hmm. So, but I think I was very young when I watched it the first time. Um, either very young or very um, inebriated, something. <laughs> so yeah. was like, well, well, and, and also you gotta realize, I mean, it's, it, it's so old. I mean, that, that, that film came out in 1977. Yeah, uh, so I was, I was young, but I did, yeah. See it, I, yeah. Okay, that sounds about right. So now there's another film that you're not starring in, but I believe you wrote it, um, directed it. Uh huh. The ritual. The ritual. Yes, I watched that film. Did you write that, family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have to ask you because I, mm -hmm. I watched this movie from a different perspective now because I know you, right? <laughs> okay. And so, so when. Ordinarily, you're watching a movie, you just watch the movie, right? And you take mm -hmm. from it what you take from it. You enjoy it, whatever. And I did. I enjoyed it immensely. I'm going to say that. Okay. The movie's called The Ritual. Everybody, go see it. You can you can download it. You can you can buy it. You can, please buy it. Don't don't download it. Buy it. Purchase it from Amazon.com. But now, I have to ask you, mm -hmm. because I'm like, this is some twisted shit. <laughs> How did you come? <laughs> I was like, well, um, I have to tell you, I have a brother, okay? Uh -huh. And I'm looking, I'm like, nah, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta talk to me about this film. What, 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 where did it come from? Where, where, where well, it well, you know what? Um, that crucial situation that happens in it uh, was something that that uh, disturbed me for many, many years. Uh, based on the fact that um, um, when I was a kid in Chicago, um, and you know we, we were just a, we were a working class family, but we were we were in one of those neighborhoods where we were almost middle class, you know. So the, so the school we so the school we went to, most of the kids in the school were were middle class, upper middle class blacks, and we were you know we were the kids of the, of the mailman. So you know, so I, I hung out with all of these like little uh, middle class and upper middle class uh, little black kids and everything. And they were like little perfect cupid dolls and all this kind of stuff. And 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 I remember that this 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 friend of mine and, and this boy was so cute. I mean, he was he was he was, he was gorgeous. And he was perfect, you know, and everything. And I remember that he said that he had had sex with his sister in the bathtub. Hmm. And it just, it, it, I mean. It, it, you know, I'm looking at him, I'm looking at the image of him and, and, and everything, and I just couldn't put that together. It, 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 huh? Yeah. Because he, he was so perfect. He was just so perfect and, and, and everything. And that, that was just the, 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 the seed that just stuck with me that ultimately I, I, wove, I, I, I weaved it into the story of, of ritual. But, it was, but that always haunted me that... Um, um, you know, the, the perfect little boy. He yeah. was perfect. And for him to say that to me was just, uh, um, 
I had, I, I looked at him so different. I could see him right now, and I looked, but but he was so perfect, but yet still, just the idea of that was just just crazy. So, so you know, I, I worked it into a political thing in the play, and, and everything. But um, but but that's a very small part of the. Of the yeah, 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 yeah. Of, 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 of I mean, the whole the whole thing was twisted, though, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, because because you know what's what's interesting. Uh, what was always interesting to me was that. Once again, we always lived in a really nice neighborhood, but we were the, and I'm not gonna say we were the poorest people in the neighborhood. We had least the least amount of money in the neighborhood when everybody else, you know, you know, we were the, 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 the mailman side and everybody else, you know, the black doctors and black lawyers and black, but, but my parents worked very, very hard uh, so that we could live a certain way, you know, because, you know, we, we, we grew up in, in Delamo Hills, which is a, a, a suburb of, of Los Angeles. You know, in a, in a five bedroom house, it's a beautiful five bedroom house, two stories on the corner, and the whole thing. That my parents worked really hard to 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 give to us and everything. So all of our neighbors and everything, they, 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 you know, the people with money are really really strange. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> you know, it, was, it was like it was because I mean, we we came from a neighborhood that was just you know blue collar, hardworking people, and then we moved we moved into this area. It was just all these black bourgeois people who had so much shit going on. That yeah. they were, you know, yeah. it was like, you know, the, the things that they were doing and and, and all that, the, the stuff that I never even heard of and everything. And, and this this boy that was having sex with his sister, he was one of them. You know, and everything, you know. And um, it's just every time you go to one of their houses, and the thing, the, the other thing that I found out that was really interesting was that upper middle class and middle class black kids would just talk back at their parents. You know? Wow. And, uh, ones, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, 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 they would just, I mean, they were like the, the white kids in the movies. They would talk yeah. back to their parents and you know, stuff like that. They, 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 we wouldn't dare talk back to our parents. Wow. And it, it, it just didn't, didn't, that wasn't even a, a, a concept. And, and I would go and visit, the, visit them at their house everything and they you know they would say anything to their parents and they would curse and stuff like this and the parents would just let them do it yeah so so it was it was a, it was an it was an awakening and, and i guess i've always been kind of fascinated with uh watching the the, the comings and goings of, of of black upper middle class people mm. because i found them really just interesting interesting yeah that yeah. well i'm gonna tell you i i was really into the movie i loved it <laughs> oh and, wow thank you you know i don't know if that's something that you are still looking to do but you should write some more movies man <laughs> well Please you know what, 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 what the thing was it was it was originally a, a play uh ritual was a was a play and the thing was that when i wrote it i just wrote it and and i you know i submitted it to every theater uh, in los angeles and everyone said it, it's too outrageous I, I was sick it was this and you know i, I couldn't get anybody to, to, put, to put it on so um so I, I a friend of mine and i we produced it together and it was and we put it on for six weeks and it ended up running 13 months wow you know, you know and it won all these awards and everything it was just kind of like crazy it said what and there would be lines around the block and then then two years later, I put it up again, and it ran for like three years. And then a few years after that, I put it up again, and ran for like a couple of years. And it's just people kept asking for ritual, put it up again, put it up again, and uh, and then yeah, finally, I'll go, see it. I, yeah. I will go see the play, yeah. <laughs> and finally, you know, these these producers said we want to make a movie out of it. I said, well, yeah, if you let me direct it. They said, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's life. That's yeah, life. yeah. And it was like it was really interesting because to, to you know to to be able to to get someone of the level of, of Denise Nicholas and oh, Clarence Williams yeah. the third that yeah. they, they when they read the script they just they they just had to do it you know so it was like it was it was like wow I, I got I got genuine stars in my film yeah <laughs> you know? very nice very nice so that's the other movie. The mm. ritual that yeah. uh, everyone should definitely see. Yeah, so, and it's just uh, the title doesn't have that. It's just ritual. It's right, ritual. Yeah. So now, is is there? I know that um, you you recently authored a few books. Mm -hmm. Um, what is your most recent book, and how can everybody get it? 
uh, the, the most recent one. Uh, is that Paradise? Uh, uh, Dominican Heat. Dominican uh, Heat. The Dominican Heat. Yeah. Honey, Dominican. <laughs> <laughs> and it's and now the only thing with Dominican heat that I must warn people is that 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 it does con contain uh, some erotica, sex, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get and it, and what it, it's, it's 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 three it's three it's a combination of uh, a compilation of three novellas that are in some way connected to the, the, the Dominican Republic. Wow. Yeah, because I, I don't I don't know if a lot of people know this, but the Dominican Republic. Um, is a sort of a, a paradise retreat that a lot of um, uh, gay men go down there, you yeah. know, and um, and, it's, and and it's very well known for, for, for that. But also, but the, you know, but the, but the women too, because you know the the, the men down in the Dominican Republic are, they, you know, they're very um, generous. Generous. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, if, if you're generous, they're generous. All right now. <laughs> you know. So, uh, yeah. You know, so it, and, and, it, and 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 it was it was my experiment with uh, erotic. I had never written anything erotic before, so I wrote these three novellas that are uh, kind of erotic, you know. And I said, well, let, let me just try it out because um, I had my my um, uh, my publisher uh, at Simon and Schuster. Was moving to another publishing house and she wanted me to to, to, to join her and just so i did and then she said well, Stanley, you know because you know if, when i read your stuff there's always a little sexy stuff going on in this so why don't you try some erotica and i said okay so, so she commissioned me to write this this um this erotic piece wow yeah. so that was that was kind of fun because I, I don't think i ever would have thought of doing it if she hadn't kind of like said we'll try it yeah and i think she was also saying that because you know you have a natural dirty mind <laughs> see, see, that's why we're friends. You see, right? yeah. So, how can everyone get that book? Um, or all of your books? Yeah, right. well, the, the Amazon.com is uh, probably the best, the best place to get an ebook. Uh, just type my name in, and you know the, the the books will come up, and you know you can read all the reviews on the on the books and the storyline. And that you know to decide whether you want to you know get it or not. So how can everyone reach you? Um, I'm pretty easy to reach. Uh, this is uh, StanleyBennettClay at gmail.com. All right, he gave yeah. you the the personal email, y'all. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean but, the, but the thing is, it's funny. It's um, um, I I like the idea of, of connecting with people. And so you know, so I you know I don't have a big problem with with people you know emailing me. And in fact, you know I you know I, I try to, to answer you know uh, all my emails and everything because it's it's the one way that you stay connected with with people. And when you're a writer, if you know if if you're writing about people, how can you write about people if you don't talk with nest them. with people? Right. You know, you, you, you have to. You, you, so I'm, I'm always fascinated with all kinds of people and the things that they're doing and the things that they're talking about and everything. And, and what, what I find interesting is that it 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 um, sort of helps me with my imagination because you know people. It's, it's like our link like the letter said about kids. You know, people say the darndest things. This is true. <laughs> you know, and sometimes all you have to do is just write down what they said. And I'm gonna use that line, you know, and everything. How about that? Yeah, yeah. And and it's, it's like some of the most outrageous things that people see in my books and everything. I say, well, you know, that actually happened. I, I actually got that it, that from somebody. Wow. Yeah, you know, that they they really, really did those kind of things. Like like I said, you know, that that, that kid having sex with his sister in the bathtub. It's, it's, it's like I, I mean, here I am at my age, and I'm still thinking about that. The, the, when that boy told me that when I was 12. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that it was because it was just such a bizarre thing that, that, yeah. that it's just like, it's, oof, you yeah. know, it's, it's, yeah. So, but but I, but but you know what? If you live long enough, you you run into so many uh, provocative experiences because people are people, right? And we can come up, we can come up with some really freaky stuff. This is true. Yeah. This is true. yeah. And, and 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 I think you know the more and more that um, we experiment with sex, which has got to be you know, one of the most fantastic creation God ever gave us. Sex is a blessing. Know, I sex, agree. sex is a blessing. 
yeah. but you know, but, but, you, but, but you know, you know how we people are. We we, we take that blessing. We put some chocolate uh, sauce on it, and some and some corn syrup, and some and some cherries on it, and we do this and some icing and and some peaches and and some marmalade in between, and you know, we know how to dress up sex. You know that's right. <laughs> so, all right. So Stanley, what mm -hmm. I need you right now uh -huh. is a drop. So, hi, this is Stanley Bennett Clay, and you're in the basement with Javon and Therese. Ah, absolutely. Hello, everyone. Stanley Bennett Clay here, and you are in the basement with Javon and Therese. Enjoy it because it's fabulous, and it gets down because it's in the basement. Well, hello and thank you. <laughs> and thank you so much, so oh, much for coming thank on. Thank you, love you And we got to do Same it again here. soon. I know, With because Therese. we always have such a great time, you know, yeah. every time we do this. And really, if you can think about it, if you're up to it, you know, write a little something or come up with an idea of what we should do uh, okay. to, to vote. And, and then we'll make it happen, okay? Okay, absolutely. We got to. Yeah. I, I love you to pieces. I, I love you too, my dear. Thank you so much, Stanley okay. Bennett Clay, everyone. Uh, thank you. See you later. Bye, honey. Okay. And everybody, I want to um just remind you to log on Saturday, 11 to 1 p.m., where our special guest will be Mr. Guy Davis. He is the son of of Ozzy Davis and Ruby D and he is a blues musician and he is going to be interviewed by us chat with us and I think he's going to bring his guitar so you don't want to miss it see y'all